What's up guys, it's Tony from Lomo Paint Pond. Today we're talking changing the velocity on the brand new Planet Eclipse 180R. And why? Because who's the best source for changing velocities? That would be us. It's LomoPaintPaw.com. Uh, so it's pretty simple. It's pretty easy. Uh, pretty much we're going to be showcasing. We've got a gold and black 180R today. And we also have the black and gold as well. So we've actually had a couple people like reach out and want to know how do I change the velocity on it? Which it's pretty simple, but here we are, Mark. And shameless plug, we've got the carbon lanyard eighth inch Allen tool as well. So this bad boy can sit around your neck. Coach in the pits has it, changing everyone's velocity, getting ready to go onto the field. So you've got the carbon eighth inch and uh, just uh, dangles around your neck. So, all right, Mark, easiest way for me to show this would be if you, you want to zoom in here on the bottom. I see it. I see it. You do see it. So pretty much backing this velocity screw out right there with the eighth inch Allen wrench is going to be allowing more airflow into the gun, hence increasing the velocity. So I got my trusty virtue clock here. We're going to kind of tinker with it a little bit and see what we can't get it up to. So let's put some more paint in this bad boy, Mark. Once again, I think these, uh, these custom colors looking good though. No doubt about it. I like black and gold. I do, I do. Let's see what it's at though. Currently sitting 280, 281, 278, 265, 270, 273, and a 280. And we're trying to hit what, Detroit 300? Yeah, we'll try to get Detroit 300. So I'm gonna back this screw out. So this velocity screw has a little arrow with the plus sign. We're going to be backing this out. Do probably quarter turns at a time. A couple shots off the side to reset, let that reg reset in there and then get go back to the chrono. 286, 290, 287, 286, 285, 287, 279. Let's do another little quarter turn. Once again, this screw is coming out. If you were going to back it completely out of the gun, a little bit at a time. A couple test shots off to the side to reset. Two ninety five. Two ninety six. Two ninety five. Two ninety eight. Two eighty eight and 285. So we're getting up there, we're creeping. Obviously this is a stock barrel. If you guys bore your paint size correctly to the inside of the barrel, you're gonna get probably, you know, more, what would you say? More consistent results. So what do you wanna get it up to true 300 mark? I mean, I guess this gets the you're point at 290. Oh, there we go, that's a 301. Oh, busted. 299, she's there, 295. She's at 300, that one's a 301 again as well. So quick video on how to adjust the velocity on the 180R, obviously an eighth inch screw here in the bottom. If you're bearing that screw, you're gonna decrease. If you're backing that screw out, you're going to increase your velocity. And as always, shop the best source, FlomoPaintball.com. Go get yourself some black and gold, black and gold, black and gold. <laughs>